your donations were critical to help me come over to the motherland and help to feed these beautiful children that you see. Uh, and so as you see them eating fruit that from your support, supporting local Kenyan farmers to feed these beautiful children food. And what I asked you all and what I was telling you all was that we did not just want to feed the children the fruit today. Okay, many of them will be going back to their parents and they can't afford healthy fruit. And so it is up to us brothers and sisters that have to work together to make sure that we are, that we are doing the first and foremost commission that God has given us. And that is to be a blessing to the fatherless, a blessing to the widows. So please, your hundred dollar seed goes a long way in helping to feed the children so that long after I go, I want them to have the, the fruits that they need to grow up, be healthy and strong. Many of them told me that they wanted to be a police officer. Who's the one say they want to be a police officer? And then we had a child that said that she want to be a nurse, wants to be a firefighter, wants to be a medical doctor. And now they understand that they have to eat the medicine foods of God to do that. It couldn't have been my daughter. I mean, that you know, first of all, um, it is a known fact that the WNBA is a is a profession for mostly lesbians that over 95 percent of all females who play in the WNBA are lesbians. That's a known fact. OK, it's a very masculine sport for a woman to play It's interesting because men a lot of men who play basketball, they're known to be soft. Just listen to Charles Barkley. And so the, the, on the basketball end, a lot of them are effeminized. Basketball is known to be one of the more effeminate sports for men. But then on, when the women get into that basketball mode, for some reason, it masculizes them. And they want to act like men, act like bucks. So I would never have my daughter's playing that just like my sons don't want to play sports. You ask my sons what they want to do with their lives at 12 and 11. It has nothing to do with basketball. And I believe, and I am, I am, I am glad that I have influenced my sons because when I was their age, I was talking that same foolishness that most of our people are talking about wanting to play these stupid sports and entertain the white, the Mazungu. That's the Swahili word for, for white is Mazungu. So in this story, family, in this stupid country, this dumb country that we live in, the United States of America, this idiotic, satanic nation that is going to be destroyed and they're trying to take everybody to hell with them. They let a transgender male basketball player. They let a man that says he's a, a girl. These idiots, these morons in the name of freedom and justice in the pursuit of happiness. The American way, which is satanic, it always has been, is based on the principle of Alex the Crowley. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole extent of the law. That's the American way. OK, and so they allow a train, a man to say he's a woman. He's not good enough to compete with the other men in basketball. He's not good enough. So because he's not good enough in the stupid United, and this is the culture they want to bring to our people that this is what they're trying to force using money to force. And we're praying that Satan would destroy them before they accomplish this. And this is why I sit here doing this video, February the 22nd, 2024. I head off to Mombasa for a three day crusade, which you can see here on the screen. And that is why I am asking you not to ignore the commercials and to give. So I can continue this missionary work to help Africa rise and to stop this spiritual warfare. Very important. Uh, in the bulk of the funds, we're only a thousand dollars away. We're only a thousand dollars away. You all have came through. I, I appreciate it. We was way behind and it was stressing me out hard. Uh, brothers and sisters, you all know I give my life and my blood to saving our people. Uh, so for, uh, for those of you tuning in, help out. And let's get that final thousand raised so I can send that to Bishop Masiga of the Gate of Holiness and we can complete having the food we need so we can feed the poor, the very poor and destitute who will be coming out. And we can send them home 
uh, with some healthy survival foods. Amen. So this is uh, in, in, in this important family to give to help me. To start this revolution throughout the African diaspora, because this is the filth they want to bring. This man was so powerful against these women. He injured three players and then the other team had to quit. This man was, I mean, he's just in there like Will Chamberlain. Man was, I mean, he was pretty much, he was pretty much, you know, a nothing. When he was playing with the men, you know, he getting ran over, dunked on, he getting, you know, uh, spit on and they kicking him off. But all he had to do was just say, I'm a woman. This man just in there like Chamberlain. He in there like Shaq. 2000 version of Shaq. You all remember how many of you all like me, brothers, remember that 2000 version of Shaquille O'Neal when he was with the Lakers, when they was on that three year winning streak that day year when he played, when he uh, did you all see the finals? I mean, I'm, I'm still traumatized and I wasn't even the Kimbe Mutombo. I mean, my God, when they played the Sixers in the finals, that Shaq. I mean, he just slamming, dunking on people. And, you know, of course, you know, some of the gay stuff where he, you know, uh, dunked on Dudley and pumping his testicles in them. I mean, just some sick, nasty, just ugly. I mean, just I don't care. I'm going to elbow you and slash your throat. So this man, he's sitting here and he just went Shaquille O'Neal on these women. Injured three players. That's assault. No way. That tells you how soft this nation of America is. Why would you sit there as a man, as a decent human being? Why would you sit there and let a man injure girls and cause them to quit? Why would you sit there and watch that happen? That's how that that is the state of America. And you all wonder why I'm six thousand miles away. Now you sit, and this is a school. This is at a ch a college school, and you really think if we have, and you go, and you, and we have people really believing that all oh, the minister just threw in the towel and gave up and went to. And no, I didn't throw in no towel. The towel was thrown on me. Ain't no Bible, ain't no holiness preacher allowed to preach this type of word in America. And then. And then I'm, I don't just preach against this. I add food to the equation. So that really gets me blackballed. All I'm doing is I'm going where P I have to go where people want the message. But I haven't given up. That's why I'm still doing these videos. I have to preach six straight days in Mombasa. You all see me still coming on live. Last Sabbath day, I was fresh off of preaching in the heat. And I still came on for you all. YouTube ain't paying. Oh, that's because you're getting paid by YouTube. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I am supported by your generosity. I'll never give up. And I am still actively doing my best with all as it is bad in America. Family, do you understand? You can pretty much almost get thrown in jail for a hate crime for teaching God's laws about sex. Open your eyes. The big five brothers and sisters that are the most important, that is absolutely essential or you will be deficient. If you're deficient, you can't have an optimal immune system for the next pandemic. Vitamin D3 with K2, D3 with K2, B12, DHA, EPA and zinc. Those are the big five, and we have those five available, organic, high quality, and potent. The Minister of Wellness.com on the store, the Minister of Wellness.com on the store. Uh, click the link in the description box and pin comment section. The Minister of Wellness Complete Detox Package, brothers and sisters, I created this package specifically to help detox from the medical decision. You should realize I'm using, I'm being very careful in using cold language and all toxic overload that taxes our system, weakens our immune system. I put together, I, I had this before due to extreme censorship. I had to use wisdom and I had to bring it back in a different manner, but it is back by popular demand. You get the, the very powerful immune support detox gut health 
mental health, reduce inflammation, the iris sea moss, the dull seaweed, and then you see that spot there, my book. Again, I have to be smart and use wisdom. This is the book that I have exposing the medical decision and it has the full detox plan for the medical decision. And this is all of them, all of these poisons that we've taken since our childhood, the overload of toxic exposure that is taxing our system. This is my complete detox package, theministerofwellness.com, theministerofwellness.com, or call 888-847-8026, 888-847-8026. This is the Collegiate Charter School of Lao, the girls' basketball team at a public charter high school in Massachusetts. They had to quit at halftime because a man saying he's a woman, he was in Shaq 2000 mode, slam dunking, elbows flying, kicking, punching. He said they were feared for their safety. Yeah, they ended the game after 16 minutes due to the Kipps team inclusion of a male player six feet tall with facial hair. The Collegiate Charter Athletic Director said the school was aware of the player going into the game already because we had them at home the first game of the year and nothing happened. The coach Kevin Ordens ultimately chose to call off this one because he felt his girls were getting injured basically all game. He has a playoff game on Monday, so he didn't want to have any more of his girls go down. Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association rules state that a student shall not be excluded. This is the American way. This is why you're supporting me, family. You're supporting me because you're helping me. You're helping to send me over here. I'm here to fight to stop this from happening. And you believe that I have the voice and the power to do so. You believe I have the voice and the power to do so. And if you don't believe, you need to listen to the sermons that I've done so far. They're on the Unleashed News channel. It's just $10 a month. I'll be dropping the first video tonight where I preached at a high school here. And they were highly inspired. Yeah, this is their rules. Gender specific sports team that is consistent with the students bona fide gender identity, but cannot be included on the roster solely for the purpose of gaining an unfair advantage in a competitive athletics. Before they added this man, they had a 10-7 record. Now, no, they have a 10-7 record this year with the man. Before they were 1-19. They added one man a so-called transgender, and they went from 1-19. and 19. They won only one game last season, but they added him, and now they're 10-7. and seven. Former University of Kentucky All-American swimmer, Riley, uh, Riley Gaines, a national advocate for restoring biological distinctions in athletics, shared a video that appears to show the male player. This is what, and this, these are people Look how stupid and weak and soft Americans are. And yet we have our people over here because their media, the media, controlled by the you know what. We call them the, the tiny hats. The ones, the Mazungus who wear them little bitty hats on their head. They're telling our people over here that America is the greatest thing since sliced bread. And yet we have thousands of Americans who sat there and watched a, bio, a, a biological man throwing a female opponent to the ground and the woman was sitting there in pain as they rushed to console her. And these are people watching this grown men and women watching a man in there just going Shaq Will Chamberlain mode on girls. Gaines also shared a statement from a collegiate charter expressing the school's support for Orton's decision to forfeit in the interest of the safety of his team explaining that the bench was already depleted going into the game with the 12 player roster having four player four players unable to play and once the third was injured the remaining five expressed concern to him about continuing to play they were scared they were fearful they were scared at the same time the press release stressed 
Collegiate charters values of both inclusivity and safety for all students without delving into the issues of transgender identifying athletes more specific. This is the garbage. This is the garbage that they want to that they want to have. This is like me. Listen, I was a mediocre boxer. I had 10 amateur fights. I did step in the ring 10 times as an amateur. I had five wins and five losses. Five wins and five losses. OK, so one time, as a matter of fact, one time I got uh, one I, and I've sparred. I sparred uh, the former great um, welterweight champion, Devin Alexander from St. Louis. I was in the same gym with him and Corey Spinks, the son of Leon Spinks. And I'm not going to sit there and act like that man didn't beat me up. I got beat up many times in the gym. Uh, but yes, my official amateur boxing record was five wins and five losses. So that's just like me coming, making a comeback because now I realize that I I'm, I can fight women, and now I can sit here, uh, go through a little bit of hormone change, say that I'm now a woman, and just and and now I can fulfill my dreams of being a champion and just start beating the crap out. And we have stupid women boxers that would take me on like that idiot Clarissa Shields. She really thinks she can beat me in. If you are benefiting from me as your minister of wellness, if I help you with your health, if you are binge watching my videos, tuning into the services, I am telling you on the authority of the Holy Scriptures, you have a responsibility to help me when you see where your money is going. Is not going towards a fancy car. It's not going towards big homes. It's going towards helping the fatherless, helping those who are in need. And that is a great responsibility that we all have. So again, you know where the, the, the information is, where you can give so that we can provide uh, not only this children's center here, but other children's centers, not only just all across Kenya, but all throughout the motherland and eventually all throughout the world. So I sincerely thank you all for your support. And for those who see this, and you are one of those who continuously benefit from my ministry, I want you to take a look at all of these beautiful children here. And I'm telling you right now, if you don't give to help me to be a support to these children, shame on you. And I am disappointed in you. And I know you can do better than that. Thank you and God bless you all. And they released one man got so sick of her. He released a video where all he did was go throw half percent of his power and knocked her on her, her behind. And she got mad and started slandering, saying he took the good. This woman sitting there saying she could take on Earl Spence and Keith Thurman and the men, you know, the real men. They just afraid to even say anything. You know, she's a disgrace compared to a real woman fighter like Muhammad Ali's daughter who would never have spouted such foolishness. But in even Serena Williams, I remember years ago, she was admitting that even the 700th ranked tennis male tennis player would destroy her because men are just far superior and she wouldn't be able to keep up. Now you listen to her talk this. Now you listen to that confused soul talk today and she'll act like she can beat a man. This genderless, wicked society family. This is just an example of why I need your support. This is an example of why I am here. I'm not satisfied with like so many ministries. They just sit online hiding in the wilderness, sitting over a computer and just hiding amongst their own little tiny community. No, I am out here on the ground in the motherland visiting several. Now, I just got done speaking to a delegate uh, from a powerful leader in South Africa. This is what you're supporting. Real work is on the ground, meeting the people, preaching the word of God. Help me to stop America's homosexual war to remove Africa from God's divine protection. The most important package that I have for this time is the immune support emergency stash. So this is when, not if, when, the next deadly pandemic comes and, and when we're locked back down, you don't want somebody coughing in your household and they don't have anything for their immune system. This is the time to get it. It'll be impossible to have these in stock when the masses are panicking. It's already priced at 50 percent off. You don't need a promo code. Get your stash for your immune system. The Minister of Wellness dot com. 
theministerofwellness.com. This is the second package that I have, the Black Health Disparities Package. If you have comorbidities, you're not going to stand a chance. This package covers obesity, blood pressure, immune, diabetes with the blood sugar, and all diseases fall under inflammation. You get all five. There's no promo code needed. It's already it's already priced at half off, 50% off. No promo code needed. Theministerofwellness.com, theministerofwellness.com.